Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. God bless y'all. Y'all keep on taking y'all time. One day at a time. Little by little. Keep that in mind. Not everything going to be done for you at one time. You should have this in your mind. <laughs> okay? Listen. You got to take the good with the bad, my brothers or sisters. Word. You can't have one without the other. All right? You can't have ups without downs. Fouls without free throws. Daytime without nighttime. You experience this. Every 24 hours, all right? 12 hours a day and 12 hours a night. Sometimes things going to be sunny and sometimes they not. <laughs> Listen, man, I know you want to stay in the sunshine. Yeah, everything going fine. <laughs> things going the way you want them to go. In La La Land, on the beach with your dad, whatever you drank them on, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just wake up and it's happening. No problems. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, you can't escape what Jesus said down here. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 33, <laughs> In this world, you're going to have trouble, you know? <laughs> no matter what you got going on, I don't give a damn how much money you got. <laughs> your friends, your family, your job, your career. As long as you're alive and breathing in this world, you're going to have trouble. I know people with a lot of money, nice jobs, nice family. They got a lot of problems. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all see love and hip-hop, all that, all the wild crap. That's that's just a reality show. They got problems. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Anywhere you see on, in this world, man, people got problems. I love the fact Jesus said, in this world, you won't, you will have trouble. You will have trouble. But in me, you got peace. I love the fact, no matter what you got going on, you can have peace with God through Jesus Christ, through the living word of God, in any and every, situ in any and every si single situation. Do you hear me? You ain't got to go nowhere. A lot of y'all got the money. Y'all go take a vacation and try to leave, go, go find peace. I, I guarantee when you get there, you still got a problem or headache. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't run away from your problems, man. Listen, I love the fact you ain't got to. You can have peace no matter what you got going on. You can have peace in the middle of a storm, man. You don't got to get high. Hmm? You don't got to get drunk. You don't got to have sex all day and do dumb stuff. Listen to me. Hmm? I love the fact, man, it's something about taking God at his word. Do you hear me? I ain't just talking about reading the word. I'm talking about letting God's word resonate through your heart and go through your mind and your spirit. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen to me. Hmm? It's a peace that transcends all understanding that will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. You hear? If I could if I could explain like I want to, it wouldn't be a peace that transcends all understanding. You hear? You gotta be like Mary, not Martha. But uh, Jesus came to Martha's home one day. <laughs> she opened her home up to him. And uh she she had a sister named Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary, just, Mary just sat down and listened to what the Lord had to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Martha started worrying about cooking and cleaning and doing this and doing that, and making preparation. <laughs> Jesus ain't never tell her to do nothing. He, he ain't say do none of that stuff. He, he just came in and started talking. Mm -hmm. uh, Martha came in hot. She, she said, uh, Lord, why don't you tell my sister to get up and come help me? Where is she? Don't you care that she left me do all the work by myself? <laughs> Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you worried and upset about many things. Only few things are required. Really only one. Mary chosen was best for her, and it's not going to be taken from her. <laughs> I love that fact. When you choose God in his word, <laughs> Jesus Christ is love more to God. When you choose him, <laughs> it, you, Isaiah 26, verse 3, uh, the Lord said through Isaiah, you are keeping perfect peace. <laughs> uh, those who trust in you, because their minds, you, you are keeping perfect peace. Those whose minds are steadfast. <laughs> you keep your mind on him <laughs> because they trust in you. You're my love that. Trust in the Lord forever. <laughs> all right? You're going to be all right. But nevertheless, you're going to have some nighttime moments in your life. You hear me? It'd be a reason for nighttime, man. I love the fact stars only shine at night. Do you hear me? Stars only shine at night. In the darkest hours of your life, you can shine ever so bright like a star in the midst of the night. If you allow the process to do what God intend, what God intend for it to do, a lot of y'all miss it. Y'all running people. Listen, man, people not going to be around to help you all the time. Look, if someone asked me, Devonta, do you ever have, have you ever had nighttime moments? What are you talking about? Hmm? I've had moments when I tried to call people, but people want no damn help. People can't help you. You see what I'm saying? Hmm? I, I got family who I went to one time. You see what I'm saying? And hmm, it was a it was a rough night. You see what I'm saying? Where I'm telling you, Paul said, "Put on the full armor of God, so when the day evil comes, you hear? I have I have I have had some nights. You see what I'm saying? Hmm? Well, I, I had no choice. I had no choice but to learn how to get close to Him. You see what I'm saying? You gotta learn that because hmm? people not gonna be around for you. People let you down, man. You see what I'm saying? You, you must learn how to trust in the Lord. You hear? You can call on your job, call on your family, call on y'all, call on everything, and never want to accept God. You call on God to a Father, ask Him to send Jesus Christ to help you. Hear? Word, because He the one allowed you to go. He the one allowed you to go through what you're going through, so you can draw closer to Him. 
He wants you to come to a point of complete dependency of him and him alone. Do you hear me? Why are you, you come in this world naked. You must know that's all you need. Is you come in the world needing nothing or no one but God. You, you hear what I'm saying? Listen to me. He wants you to understand that. You don't need the money. You don't need the car, the clothes, the job, none of that bull crap. You said all you need is God and God alone. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Listen. You must go through some things. <laughs> there was a man named David. He was a, a, a man after God's own heart, the Bible said. <laughs> he was a king. Over Israel, anointed by God himself, and God literally allowed him to be chased out of the kingdom. Hmm? What good is having a kingdom but not having the truth, capital K-I-N-G? Hmm? What good is it for you to have the world but not have the great other world? Hmm? What good, Jesus said the best. What good is it if a man gained the whole world yet forfeited his soul? Huh? Hmm? Listen, a lot of y'all got the worldly things and this and that, but you don't got God. Listen to me, man. I don't, I don't care what you got. Hmm? You can have all these things. You can have it all. But if you don't got God, your Father, Lord Jesus Christ, or the Holy Spirit, you don't got a damn thing. I'm letting you know that name. How you know, Vontae? Because I know. I've been places y'all ain't good to go to, man. By myself, I always knew there was something missing in my heart. I always knew that. My people, my, I had two friends who always asked me, like, bro, what you want, what you want? I couldn't explain what I want because I already had everything that I, that I need. I got the money, I got the cars, I got the females. What more, more can I ask for? More money? I'm, I've never been a greedy person. You see what I'm saying? I always knew there was something missing. I didn't have God in my life. You hear me? I knew, I, I knew he was around. But I didn't have it in my life at the time. You see what I'm saying? And I knew I knew that. I felt a hole in my heart that nothing could fill. You see what I'm saying? I never I never felt the way I feel like I feel now. You see what I'm saying? Listen, man. <laughs> Word. You can have it all. But if you don't got God, your father, you don't got a damn thing. You hear? <laughs> Tell me that now. <laughs> you can have very little bit. But if you got God, your father, you got it all, my brother, sister. There ain't nothing you lack. You might not got this, might not got that. But you got you got everything you need. You hear me? I'm telling you that now. David lost it all. God allowed David to be chased out of the kingdom. David, he didn't have nothing. David still said, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing, huh? And David said, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for you are with me talking about God. Your rod and your staff, they come for me. You, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, you anoint my head with oil. This oil is a representation of the Holy Spirit. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness, God's goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You see what I'm saying? Not no regular church, but the house of the Lord, eternity, forever. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, man. I see David yelling there from the top of his voice. David learned the lesson God want all of us to learn. To trust in him. At our lowest moments in life. Do you hear me? Without nothing. Or no, I'm telling that, I'm telling, when, when you're able to walk with God through the valley, when you're able to trust in him at your lowest moments of life and lean out on your own understanding. Do you hear me? You got it, my brother, sister. When you're able to depend on him and him alone, you got it, my brother, sister. Do you hear me? You can pretty much close the book on your life. Do you hear Because it ain't going to matter what happened next. God will bless you. He'll give you the word. You're not going to care about having the world because you got him. What can you compare to God? Do you hear me? And I, uh, in Genesis 15, uh, the Lord said to Abraham, I'm your, I'm your reward, Abraham. Your very, I'm your shield. Your very great reward. <laughs> but listen, man. Their riches cannot compare to having God. Having there is nothing in this world that can compare to having God. And, and, and knowing that for a fact, you hear me? Listen, man. <laughs> man. You can have it all. God will bless you. You're not gonna care about having none of them things because you got Him. You can lose it all. You're not gonna care about. You can lose your job, your family, your career, your money, anything you can think about losing. You can you can lose it all. You're not gonna care about losing. They, there was a man named Job. He lost it all. Job said, "The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised." You're, as long as you got God, you're gonna be fine, my brother. Sis, tell you that now. Do you hear? Listen, you must go through some things, though. All right. No pain, no gain. Listen to the phrase. No pain, no gain. I see people all the time go to the gym. <laughs> they work out and they're in the gym all the time doing this and doing that, but they don't get no they don't get no results. You see what I'm saying? Any one of y'all wanna come work out with me, that's cool. Like where get a little session or something going on. I ain't got no building. I work out at the crib. You see what I'm saying? But <laughs> make some shake. If somebody interested, that's cool. I like to do this, do that too. Listen, but many people go work out, they don't get no results though. You see what I'm saying? Listen, people they go. You, you don't just go to the gym and drink coffee and think stuff and look at how people work out and think stuff gonna happen. You got to put your body through some intense strain. You got to put your body through intense strain. It got to hurt. No pain, no gain. If it ain't hurting, it ain't working. All right. Listen to what I just now said. No pain, no gain, man. Look, look, look. No pain, no gain. You got to go through some. All right. It got to hurt. You see what I'm saying? My body hurt right now. I took a break yesterday. I'm gonna get back on today, though. Listen. That's physical. That's cool. Listen. 
physical cook. I know people who big, but they can't think straight. So it don't make sense to have the muscles if your mind weak. You know what I'm saying? If you're weak spiritually. Because you could be in a room by yourself for an hour, you break it down. I know that this happens to people all the time, man. I see people who got who real big, but they can't handle they can't they can't handle mental situations. You see what I'm saying? They break down. They really they have they ready to have a nervous breakdown or something. You doing all that working out for nothing. If you can't think straight, sit down for a minute. You see what I'm saying? Listen, you need to work on your mind. You need to work on you need to work out spiritually. Uh, physical training got some value, but spiritual training got even more value, okay? You got to go through something, though. All right? Listen. All right. Uh, you hang on to God as you're going through whatever you're going through, my brother, sister. How you do that, Vontae? In the beginning was the word. It all starts with the word. In the beginning. A lot of people don't know where they're going because they, they, they don't know where to begin. Listen, you ain't, you're never going to get step two. It might, step two might not come to you. To, uh, it, it could be a year or two from now. You know, what I mean? But you, you're never going to get step two without taking step one. You have step one, taking God to his word. Okay? That's the very first thing you must do. Take God to his word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Do you hear me? That's how you're going to get through whatever you're going through by taking God to his word. All right? That's how to begin. With his word. Okay? I don't care what you got going on. You take God to his word. All right? <laughs> like, and, and you're going to get through it. Hang on to him. Like Philippians chapter 2 say, verse 14, Brother Paul said, do everything without without grumbling. <laughs> Don't grumble with the Lord. <laughs> do everything without grumbling. Don't grumble. Get mad, God. I just can't believe you let me go through this. I thought I was doing everything right. <laughs> I was trying my best, trying my hardest. You know I was trying. I tried to do, man. Don't grumble with the Lord. And I, you, you're not right, God. I just can't believe. Don't, don't grumble with the Lord. <laughs> you better believe. Listen, God sent this one only son, Jesus Christ, that had suffered on the cross. Do you think you're going to live your life? Do you think you're going to live a life without going through nothing there? God so loved the world, he sent Jesus. And Jesus, Isaiah 53, it say it was God's will to cause him to suffer. Do you think there is no one on earth who has ever been born or will be born that's more special than Jesus? And God allowed him to suffer. He went through something. Do you think you're going to live your life on this earth and not go through nothing? I don't give a damn how much money you got. How good you, how good you think you look or your little career, you're going to go through something. If you think you're not, you, you're in the wrong mind frame already. You know what I'm saying? Jesus can and suffer. Who do you think you is to not live, to live a life and not go through nothing? You, you don't allow life for real. Listen, don't get mad at the Lord, though, when they allow you to go through things. It's for a reason. No pain, no gain. God will allow you to go through some things. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Don't try to argue with God. It's okay if you got your little complaints because you wouldn't be human if you didn't. All right? Je Jeremiah had a complaint, and he, he complained to the Lord correctly. Ain't nothing wrong with talking to God and believing, having a complaint, but don't argue with him, okay? He know your mind and your heart. You're not going to argue with God. I don't care how well thought out your argument is. You might can out-talk people. <laughs> That's people, but you can't out-talk God. You, you lost already before you began. Listen, <laughs> what? do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure. Children of God without fault in the warped and crooked generation, then you will shine among them like stars in the sky in the darkest hours of your life. <laughs> you can shine ever so bright like a star in the midst of the night. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky hmm? as you hold firm to the word of life. That's how you're going to get through it, my brother. So you hang by hanging on to God's word. Hmm? Hang on to the word of life. Jesus Christ is the word of life. He is, he is the living word of God. First of all, listen, <laughs> you hang on to him. With all your being, you love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. No matter what you got going on, God got a word for you to get you through any and every single situation. A lot of y'all not in the word to know the word to get you through it. Jesus said, "Man, don't live on bread alone, but on what? But on every word that comes from the mouth of God." A lot of y'all wake up and just you just going about your day. I, I got more stuff going on than a lot of people. You hear me? But I never wake up and forget about the Lord. You hear me? He, he didn't want to get me through my day. You hear me? Not my not my skill, not my cunning, not my craftiness. You see what I'm saying? Him and him alone. That's all I need. I know that for a fact. You're going to be all right, my brother. So you hang on to him the best you can. And he's going to hold your hand. And he's going to hold you with his right hand. Let's watch. Mm -hmm. all right. Just keep on breathing. Inhale, exhale. Don't forget to do that. Okay? <laughs> You're going to be all right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Amen? Whatever today is, it's Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday, January 31, uh, 521 a.m.
2024. <laughs> the best is yet in store. <laughs> I love to be up while the majority of the people snore. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't get you one of these, you should have got you one before. You ain't gonna have a long time to get you one because my time almost short is almost over. But I love the fact it's all, it's all up here, babe. <laughs> Listen, where it's all up here. J Jesus ain't never write a book <laughs> yet. His words went through all. Through all I love think. I, I love think how the Lord how the Lord <laughs> sometimes he he never write one book, but his words go all throughout the earth. <laughs> so that that's pretty cool. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, if you should, if, you should, if you didn't get you one, D, you should have got you one. <laughs> nice book called Nine from God Almighty, Volume One by some dude named Devonte Farm, whoever he is. Nice book, nice name. With some great teachers, if I do say so myself. But look, listen, this book does not replace the Bible, okay? You're never going to get step two. Everything you need, will need, and can need is something in the Bible, in God's Word, and in God's Word alone. Do you hear me? You're never going to get step two without taking step one. If you can't read your Bible, you're not going to be able to read this. I'm letting you know that now. It ain't going to make sense to you. you just going to have it sitting on the shelf somewhere. I know. This thing, man, word. It ain't going to make sense to you. That's bad promotion. Forget the promotion. I want you to take God at his, at his word seriously, okay? Not for no funny fashion. Uh, word. I want you to be serious. You see what I'm saying? Because it's so much stuff I want to give y'all. Man, if, if, I, if I knew people was catching on like the way they ought to, and they was they was rocking with your brother the way they ought to, man, I give y'all so much stuff. I, there's so much stuff I want to give, but I can't. I'm not going to waste my time or resources. If some of y'all catching on, don't take it the wrong way, because some of y'all catching on. You know That's why y'all run a little bit faster than, than usual. You see what I'm saying? It don't take five, ten years, fifteen years of being around church. Nah, you can get you can catch on really quick. Some of y'all not taking step one. You're not gonna get step two, three, four, five, six, or seven if you don't take step one. Okay? Listen to me. Jesus said in John chapter 16, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. Jesus wanted to tell y'all so much stuff, but y'all mind not, you can't handle it. A lot of y'all like little kids, like little babies. You need milk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't give a baby meat, uh, at steak, eggs, and potatoes. They can't eat up. They can't digest it. You see what I'm saying? It's so much stuff I want to give people, but they can't digest. They gonna, <laughs> you, you still need milk. That's why I got to talk a certain way. You see what I'm saying? I try to, but I, I am who I am. The Lord knows. Jesus, he spoke in parables. You know what I mean? If you ain't catch, you just ain't catch. You see what I'm saying? But that's why he's speaking parables. Because he, that's fire right there. Wait, that's why he's speaking parables. <laughs> because only certain people who gonna catch it who growing up. You see what I'm saying? Me, but they, they want where this dude talking about. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Wait. <laughs> but anyway, if there's any truth, they're gonna punch it to the Bible. Okay? Like y'all see, I always tell y'all, this book don't replace the Bible, man. That's all you need. <laughs> it's God's word and God's word alone. Okay? Uh, I love to read the Holy Quran. That is a divine inspired word of God. Y'all ever see when I'm doing my Quran teaching? <clears throat> uh, that I'm, I'm in the Bible. That's a divine inspired word of God, given by God Almighty Himself uh, to the Prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel. You hear me? And it points you to the Bible. Okay? You can't read the Holy Quran without reading the Bible. <laughs> Y'all see, I'm, I'm, the Bible and the Quran go hand in hand. Go look at my Quran teaching. I'm always in the Bible. Okay? <laughs> Boy, that's, that's why I mean people can't read the Holy Quran because they not they don't know how to read their Bible. I mean more to, I mean, I, listen, I know people who claim to be Muslim. <laughs> I'm a Muslim. I'm, I'm a Jewish, I'm a Jewish man. I'm a Christian man. I'm a, I'm a Muslim man. I'm a Methodist. I'm a Baptist. <laughs> I'm an evangelist. I'm Presbyterian. I'm Pentecostal. I'm Protestant. <laughs> Uh, yeah, listen to me. I'm all these things. You see what I'm saying? I know I, I, I have faith. You know what I'm saying? I don't see the, the, the outside. Mostly, but they religious. I'm not religious. I got a relationship with God. You see? And I see how God speaks to the people. But anyway, listen, people who claim to be Muslim, I never see them read it. I never see them read their Holy Quran. I, I read more the Holy Quran than people so called supposed to be Muslim. I am a true Muslim. You say, listen, they don't know. They don't know chapter one, chapter two. Y'all tripping? Don't tell me you. Don't tell me you're a Muslim and you don't read your Holy Quran. Don't tell me you're a Christian and you don't open up your Bible. Don't tell me you're a Jew and you don't read. You don't read the Word. Don't stop lying to me. Jesus said, man don't live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. If you wake up and go without the word, you're alive. You see what I'm saying? Don't tell me you this and you that. Word. Anyway. Yeah. So I would advise you to get your Bible. All right. And don't just get the Bible. Read it. And don't just read the Bible. Do what it says. Okay? Like my brother James said in James chapter 1. Uh, do not merely listen to the word and deceive yourselves. 
Uh, do what it says. A lot of y'all listening, but you're not doing, you're not taking what God's showing you and actually putting it into practice. You tripping? <laughs> there is nothing no one ever showed me. You know, most of the time, most of the time that I be around, people not trying to teach me anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, my life, my whole life has been like that, man. People don't want to show me anything. They, they, they think I want they spot or something. They think I want their girl or this and that. People, nobody never did me no favors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Far as trying to help me get up in the world. Nah, everything that I've been around, I look and I see. With the, with the phrase monkey see monkey do, I ain't call myself a monkey, but it's true. Listen, monkey, whatever you see going on, I see people around how they move. I say, okay, I see what they doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what they doing. You see what I'm saying? I ain't just gonna look and learn. I ain't just gonna look. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna do what they doing because what they doing working. You see, they try to show me something without showing me something. I have, you know what I mean? If someone do show, try to show you something, then word, don't take that for granted. You see, listen to me, man. All right. Uh, yeah. Jesus said, "Why you call me Lord?" But not doing what I'm telling you. <laughs> you're calling me Lord. You're saying you believe him. You follow me. This and that. But I'm telling you, do something. You're not doing it. What's the matter with you? You're being ignorant. <laughs> okay? Listen to me. Uh, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man, huh? Who dug his, who, who uh, built his house on the rock. Yeah. The rain came. The streams rose. The wind blew and beat against the house. But it, it did not fall. Yeah. Because it has foundation on the rock. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus Christ is a cornerstone, my brother, sister, <laughs> the rock upon which you must build your life on. If you build your life on God our Father, if you build your life on Lord Jesus Christ, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You're going to be all right. You're going to get scraped up and banged up along the way, but you ain't going to fall. You're going to stand tall, okay? <laughs> yeah. A lot of y'all building on sand. <laughs> y'all building your lives on money, man. I'm telling you, y'all going to find out when it's too late. <laughs> Where? And, and you, you building your life on money, your, your little career, or your relationship, with your family, your friends, whatever you're building your life on. Ain't nothing wrong with these things. But you, you're building your life on these things, though, without God. Yeah, that's how many people is. You're just all about the business or something. It's all about the, you see what I'm saying? Listen, get sick, go to the hospital, get on your deathbed, and go get all the money you got saved up. I guarantee your money gonna do a damn thing for you. Take, take, I don't care, we got hundreds of millions. Take it to the doctor and see the doctor do for you. He said you ain't got long to live, you ain't got long to live. He can't help a car or your job that you love so much. You've been working 10, 20, 30, you're you an excellent worker, call your job. See what, you, see what your job do for you, see what your boss do for you. We got your job waiting there for you if you ever come back, if you come back, you know what I'm saying? Well, your job can do a damn thing for you. Get sick, go to the hospital, get in your deathbed, and call your call your uh, your friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, <laughs> your daddy, your mom, your brother, sister, whoever you think around for. I guarantee you, if God don't put it in their heart to stick with you day and night, just be by your side. They're not gonna be there long, cause they like go, they like go on. They got bills to pay. They got they got they got family they own. They got they got to keep on living. They got life go on, right? Yeah, unless they can be like Lord Jesus Christ and lay their life down for you. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> If you do, if you do, do got somebody in your life, that's because God put them in your life. You hear me? That's a blessing. You hear me? Because it's not in their heart. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you this now. They might stay with you three or four days, but everyone, it's, it's a, everyone got a a, a tendency to the, that urge, man. It's only so much they can put up with before that, that before that breaking point hit. I can't just keep on doing this. I've seen, I have seen the close, I have seen it and heard it from the closest of people, man. I seen, I'm telling you, man, I'm not saying something I don't know. I'm telling you what I know. Why do you think I'm people myself? I love having people around me, but I know I don't need nobody around me because people will come and go. Your family come and go. Your friends come and go. Whoever you think love you, damn, you come in this world naked. They will come and go. If God don't put it in their heart to stick with you, day and night, I had a woman, an elderly woman. This one right here, I could not leave her. My great, I'm telling you, right, I, I, it's been ten, over, over 10 years. She was the maker now. She ain't got to worry about a damn thing. <laughs> she in better, she in way better care now. She, yeah, she getting the best of care. Listen, she got a new body. Yeah, look. <laughs> I couldn't leave her, though. I had to stick by her side. I was going to get married, man. I had to make a choice. She got a pacemaker put in a long time ago. It's about to take care of my grandma or go get married. I could easily want to get married and live my life, man. I ain't got to be right here right now. I'm telling you, where I could easily live my life and did this and did that. I had to make a choice. Y'all, it's all y'all got choices to make. You see what I'm saying? You can live to be selfish or live for someone else. You know, I'm always trying to flesh and doing for people. You see what I'm saying? I have a time when God will bless me and this and that to come back around. Watch, but you gotta make a choice, man. God, God put it in my heart to stick by that woman's side. You see what I'm saying? That's a true woman, true woman of God. You hear me? She didn't have no husband. Nobody was around. You see what I'm saying? At the time, where people got life to live. You see what I'm saying? Listen, <laughs> I laid my life down though, put it to the side. 
I know what's important, what ain't important. He let me see what's important, what ain't important. A lot of people, they find out when it's too late. Um, but God got power over sickness, disease, and death. My little sister died. I got a story, man. Listen to me. I'm going to say it. I'm going to always say it to the day I die. Why? Because it's something to be to remember. I got a little sister. I got a little sister, two little brothers. <laughs> That's just me and my little sister at the time. We was living in Birchwood. I, I was in Head Start. I was a young man. But I remember the day like yesterday coming home. Where? <laughs> my little sister died. She got her head caught in the window. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> my mom said she died. Okay? Listen to <laughs> me. My mom could have gave up and just... <laughs> Let 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 life go, whatever. God gave her a, a wisdom to call my great grandma. Hmm? Oh, what you, what you gonna do when death at the door? What, what what do you do? My mom didn't know who God was, but she knew someone who did. My great grandma knew who God was and had very well. Look, my little sister died, man. My mom called my great grandma. My great grandma called on Jesus. Pleaded the blood seven times and the life came back to it. Yeah, true story. God still do these things. I mean, God got power over death, man. Do y'all believe that? He got power over death, sickness, and disease. A lot of y'all go to the hospital. Y'all look at doctors and stuff for them to help y'all hear y'all. When the doctor say, when the doctor says it's over, damn it, ain't over till God says so. You hear me? I'm telling you now. Hey, y'all put y'all faith and trust in the wrong thing. It'll be, it'll be very good for you to get to know who God is, okay? Know who Jesus is, all right? Many people talk that talk. <laughs> talk cheap. You see what I'm saying? When stuff hit the fan, you just really see. You see what I'm listening, man. <laughs> My great grandma knew. <laughs> God bless that woman, man. man. I can't wait to see her again. All right. Where am I going to? I don't know. It's early in the morning. God bless you. It's always a privilege and an honor to be able to sit down with the Lord and his word. Do you hear? <laughs> he poured out so much to me that I got to pour, I got to pour so much out to others. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's impossible to know what I know and just keep it to myself. I feel crazy. <laughs> I, I know some young person who watch me, who gonna watch me. A lot of older people, I ain't saying it's over for y'all or whatever, but I speak to young people. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people be weird. I got people who stalk me <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know why <laughs> this and that or whatever. I, it's 24 hours in a day. I wouldn't get nobody an hour of my time. People seeing what I'm talking about, this and that or whatever. You is weird. <laughs> That's my opinion. Just my opinion. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyone ever want me to come through and have an assembly? I love people who really got a, a hunger and thirst for God. You see what I'm saying? Like the Bible say, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> who truly want to know the Lord. I, I love people like that, man. Who truly want to know? It, it ain't gotta be a lot of people. If it's just two or three people, I'm cool for that. I, I I will come through. You see what I'm saying? I love that. It ain't gotta be a lot of people. I I I go to church from time to time, and it be hundreds of people going to the church, but but not one person there got a heart for God. They 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 in, they in the church on their cell phone. She she want to meet him. He want to meet her. You see what I'm saying? Pastor dudes, they just having coffee all the time. Where you go to church, they just, it's, it's like an entertainment show. They just drink coffee all the time. I love coffee too, but I don't I don't go to church and drink coffee. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't, I want to be thinking. I don't want to be stimulated. The coffee is a stimulant. You see what I'm saying? You go to church, you, you, you just going. I'm telling you, ain't nothing wrong with having coffee. I'm just saying you going there. It's like a show. Funny fashion. You, you, you're not there to listen. You want you're not there to hear the, hear the word. Truly, you there for some fun of game. Somebody probably making you gun. You don't want to be there. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, but whatever, man. People be, I don't know. But for y'all, two or three people who really got a heart for God, I love to come and be around and talk to y'all. You see what I'm saying? Where? It ain't got to be a big group. Jesus said, well, two or three gathered in my name, I'm there also. Okay? Where that? All right, it's a blessing to be able to spend time with the Lord in this word. And I never take that for granted. Any, if any one of y'all got eyes and can see, God bless you, brother, sister. God letting you see. Yeah, many people got eyes, but they can't see. Any one of y'all got ears? Like the Bible says in Revelation, those who have an ear, those who got ears, let them hear. Many people got ears, but they listen. Some people they they, they can't hear. They some people hear they want to hear. Some people listen for the wrong reason. They trying to see. He's, he's talking about me. You listen for the wrong reason. Man, you trip. You see what I'm saying? You should be listening to hear God's word. Many people can't even hear God's word, but if you can, my brother, sister, that is a ble that, that is a blessing. You hear him tell that now? Jesus said, many people want to hear what y'all hear and see what y'all see, but they couldn't see it. <laughs> right, many righteous people. All right. So if you can see and hear, God bless you, brother, sis. Where are we going to? Where are we going to? We don't know. It's early in the morning. Okay. Go with me to Psalms 118. <clears throat> Psalms 118, verse 1. Brother David said, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, amen. His love endures forever. Uh, let Israel say, 
His love endures forever. Amen. Let the house of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I love that. <laughs> you know, people's love. People's people. Well, God loves you. You know, God is love and He do love the people. It's the only reason whoever y'all still here is because of God's love, His grace and mercy. Yeah. God know who you is better than you do. Yeah. For y'all who belong to Israel, mm -hmm. let Israel say, his love endures forever. Mm -hmm. Those who belong to the house of Aaron, Aaron is the priest of Levites. The house of Aaron is the house of the Levites, where those who preach his word, mm -hmm. the Levitical priests. Uh, let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Mm -hmm. Let those who fear the Lord, if you got to fear the Lord in your heart in general, mm -hmm. to fear the Lord is to have some wisdom and knowledge of him to to acknowledge him, to, to acknowledge his existence. You see what I'm saying? Rahab, when she heard that the spies was coming through, she said, we heard what the Lord did for you, how he dried up the Red Sea and he killed the Egyptians. Rahab said, we heard. And she believed. Yeah, she had, a, she had a fear of God. She recognized. She was in Jericho. When the walls of Jericho, before the walls of Jericho came falling down, Rahab was in Jericho. Jericho didn't worship God, okay? They worshiped other gods. When Rahab heard, faith come, faith come from what? From here. She heard what God did. What, she, she, believed, she had more faith than than God, than the people that was with God. She said, we heard how, how God dried up the Red Sea for you, and y'all came across on dry land, huh? Yeah, she said, well, we heard, she said, your God is God of heaven above and on, and on, earth, and on the earth. Yeah, she recognized, and she, even better, she submitted to God. She had a holy fear of God, and that's why God spared her and her family. You heard, I love that story about Rahab. And she was a prostitute. <laughs> so y'all females who out here, thank you, y'all, thank y'all off. Y'all ain't off. Rahab was a prostitute. Y'all know a prostitute is or whatever. It don't matter who you is. It's tax collectors and prostitutes that come that, that that that's getting access into the kingdom of God before a whole lot of so-called people think they clean. Yeah, cause they got a heart. They fear God. I'm telling. I know people, man. They're not perfect. You. I, that's why I don't judge nobody. You see what I'm saying? Because I know people. Y'all look at the outside. Man, this person, this and that. But it's some who got, got a heart for God. They fear the Lord. You hear me? They might be tripping sometimes, but they fear God though. You hear me? Yeah. Anyway. Psalms 115, verse 5, the brother said, When hard press, I cry out to the Lord. <laughs> and when y'all in y'all toughest moments, call out to the Lord. People can only do so much for y'all. And you will find out. Call call people. <laughs> call people. Listen, it's only so much I can do for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You must, you must learn. Look to my left, look to my right. Vontae, who you call on? Not no one. I ain't got no friends or nothing to call on for far as help. Then my friends let me down. I got family, stuff they let you down. You see what I'm saying? But God, you need to learn how to call on him, how to trust in him. When you're hard pressed, you need to learn that. You see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all look to people. You see what I'm saying? Y'all need people. Well, you got you got to learn people is not God. You need to learn how you need you need to learn how to call on God your father. Mm -hmm. Ask him to send Jesus Christ to help you. Okay, that's what you need to learn how to do. Mm -hmm. All right. When hard press, I cried to the Lord. Yeah, He brought me into a spacious place. <laughs> yeah, the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What can Mary Mortis do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look and triumph on my enemies. Yeah. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than, than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounding me. But in the, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. That's all you need right there is God. Yeah. yeah. Each and every single last one of y'all failed. I know I know for a fact. Well, I, listen, I ain't lost yet. I ain't got this, I ain't got that, but I have not, I have not lost yet. I'm telling you. It's people who got, it's people who got so much stuff, man. They got so much What's the, what's the words I'm trying to look for? They got so much other stuff that they they advance. Man, they not too far. I'm not too far from where they at, and I'm not. I ain't got half of the stuff that they got. I don't got a quarter stuff they got going on. You see what I'm saying? I, I ain't lost yet, bro. Many people that lost that they losing. Oh, but, oh, listen, man, listen. I can't talk the way I want to talk, but all the nations surrounding me. Yeah. But in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I had to follow David to the end of the earth. They surrounded me on every side. But in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. Yeah. They swamped around me like bees. But they were but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them down. That's all you need is God. You will cut down each and every single thing coming your path. I was pushed back and about to fall. But the Lord helped me. Amen. 
that the Lord is my strength and my defense. Not, not my guns, not my muscles. You hear me? It ain't about the, the Lord is my strength and my defense. Amen. He He has become my salvation. Mm. Shout, shouts of joy and victory. Resounded, resounded in the tents of the righteous. The Lord has done, the Lord's right hand has done mighty things. Amen. The Lord's right hand has has is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will I will not die, but live. And will proclaim what the Lord has done. Amen. The Lord has chastised me, has chastened me, chastened me. Uh, the Lord has chastened me severely. You know, sometimes the Bible said God chastising his children. And one of y'all got parents who might have whooped y'all. Y'all didn't like it at the time, yeah, but it is y'all y'all appreciate them for doing it. Yeah, because it taught you something. Okay. Many people they just let you do it. True love, you know, people say they call it hard love or whatever, something like that. You know, some people be being, they don't really understand. But some people really doing it for the right reason. <laughs> you appreciate them people. You see what I'm saying? Because you got someone in your back. A lot of people, they just let y'all let y'all live y'all little life. <laughs> a lot of y'all moms, they just let y'all do what y'all want to do, correct? And you see why your children end up like, they, you should have whooped, whooped they butt. <laughs> the Bible say, uh... Withhold the rod from a child, and that's something how, how I go. You don't want to withhold the rod if you if you rip uh, word. Well, I'm gonna find. Bear with me for a second. There's a nice jump. Give me a second, please. It's right here somewhere. Uh, Proverbs 13, verse 24. <clears throat> Yeah, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24, it said, whoever, whoever spares the rod hates their children. <laughs> Many of y'all think y'all love y'all kids, but y'all y'all not willing to discipline them. You really hate them because you let them do what they want to do. A lot of y'all watch y'all kids destroy themselves. Yeah, <laughs> you should have whooped their butt. That's what you should have did. Uh, whoever, wh whoever spares the rod hates their children. <laughs> but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. Amen. That's why why thank God discipline us. Vontae, do God ever discipline you? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? I went to the woodshed many times. The Lord get, get on me all the time. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and I don't take it for granted. You see what I'm saying? I, I love it when the Lord uh, chats me. When, when he when he when I hear when he tells me something that I need to hear. Not what I want to hear, what I need to hear. <laughs> a lot of people want a lot of people listen because they want it, this what they what need they what they want to hear. They got itching ears. <laughs> they want to hear the right stuff. They want people to talk to them all nice and sweet. <laughs> you know, they yeah, just God just say nice stuff to me all the time. Don't say nothing wrong. Don't don't be mean. Don't tell me. But I don't tell me the truth. <laughs> Lie to me. <laughs> nah, man, you need to hear you need to hear the truth. The truth sets you free. It might hurt. <laughs> the truth hurt, but it heal you. A lie will make you feel good and you feel worse afterwards. <laughs> and like someone you see outside, they, they stink or smell, and you be like, you look good, you smell good, but they stink and smell the whole time. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and you tell them they look good and smell good. When they find out, they said, damn, why, why they lie to me? <laughs> Did you got them around? Man, you better tell you better tell someone. You see what I'm saying? Don't be mean about it, but just let me know. <laughs> but anyway, God God disciplines his children. I love that. Word, because he really loves them. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Amen. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. <clears throat> this is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for you for you answering. You have become my salvation. Amen. The stone the builders rejected has become excuse me. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Jesus Christ is a stone, my brothers and sisters. The rock upon which you must build your life on. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. That's where, they, uh, that's where this is requoted at. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Acts chapter 4, verse 11 say, Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. <clears throat> the stone... Psalms 118, verse 22. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has, has done this, has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Amen. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The Lord, the Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us with bows in hand. Join in the festival, join in the festival, uh, festival pr pr procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will praise you.
You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen. I love that right there. All right. Yeah, bless God, your father. You hear me? Always and all the time. Bless God, your father. You hear me? Know he God. No Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 3. God said, God our Father said, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. <laughs> Out of the land of slavery, you shall have no other gods before me. That's power right there. Mm -hmm. If you know those words I just now said and stand on those words, that's the that's the foundation you must stand upon. If if you if that's the foundation you must stand upon if you want victory. Mm -hmm. To know to know who God is. God bless you, brother Minister uh, Farrakhan. I love you, man. Wherever you at, mm -hmm. I wish I I hope I get a chance to sit down and meet him one day. Like he like ninety something. Still kicking up. <laughs> All right, but anyway, <laughs> that's the foundation you must stand on if you want victory. All right, there. All right, go to Matthew 21. Uh, I say, Jesus comes to Jerusalem as king. Matthew 21, verse 1, say, As they approached Jerusalem and came to Beth Bethage, Bethage on the Mount of Olives, <clears throat> Jesus sent two disciples, two disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her coat by, with her coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. <laughs> I, I love I love the Lord in His way, man. Where all you gotta do is say, man, tell the people I need that. <laughs> Where that? <laughs> say that the Lord needs them, and He will send and He will send them right away. <laughs> This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle, and riding on a donkey and on a coat, the fall of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the coat and placed their cloaks on, on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, which is like a jacket or something. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the wall, while others cut branches from the trees and, and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him, the crowds that went ahead of him, and those that followed him shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heavens. <clears throat> when Jesus entered Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. <laughs> Jesus at the temple. Uh, Jesus entered the temple, of course, and drove out all who were buying and selling there. <laughs> Word up. Jesus went to the church, and he's seeing people in there like you see today. People just giving money, exchanging money. they selling this and selling that. <laughs> y'all people crazy as hell. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins. You know what I mean? That's what, I, I love to go to church, but I don't listen <laughs> It's not every day people take God seriously. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Listen, man, that throw me off a little bit. But people that just want the money. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They're all about the Benjamin. Word. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus, he flipped it over on him. He going to do the same to a, a whole lot of people going to see, man. It's starting to come to pass now. Mm -hmm. People all about the money. Mm -hmm. Y'all get it. Y'all y'all mm -hmm. got the wrong people in, in the wrong places. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people, they choose people mm, because of this and because of that. Because I'm telling you this now, man. Y'all, a lot of leaders, mm, why? You wonder why the world is the way it is. Mm, you know, like, it's, mm, these people be tripping, man. I don't know. But, mm, most of it, they buy the money. That's all I'm going to say. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were selling and buying. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. <clears throat> it is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer. But you are making it a den of robbers. Where the blind and the lame came to him at the temple, and he healed them. Amen. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did, and the children shouted in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant, which means they were hot. Hmm? You know, when, when you're truly doing what God asked you to do, people don't like it. Hmm? I look at people who be, in the, who be around, and I see them with these little programs going on. You know, people... The people be letting them start programs or whatever and doing this and doing that. They don't got no trouble. Hmm? You know, wherever the Lord at, you see some problems. 
You see what I'm saying? Why you say that, Monte? You gonna you, you gonna go through some things. Anyone if there is no one who I don't know who truly serve the Lord, who, who if there is no one who I don't know who tr- who truly doing some type of good that ain't going through something. Look at the people, look at the people and how they died. Malcolm X, uh Martin Luther King, uh JFK, uh, or, uh Marcus Garg, a whole a few other people, man. Listen, the people when you stand up, the people don't like you. I mean, certain people don't like you, okay? <laughs> Where well, them, them damn devils, they don't like you, okay? But if you, if the people let you get a program with something going on, look at the big church and stuff around, man. They, they let them flourish. <laughs> they don't got no problems. I can ain't no problem. <laughs> they don't even look like they got a problem. <laughs> they don't look like this or look like that. You can see when stuff going. Jesus, when they, they, people was trying to chase him and trying to kill him. <laughs> you said, Jesus said, why y'all trying to kill me, man? <laughs> Boy, he ain't saying it for no reason because people, burn. listen, man. Ronnie, do you got problems? What you talking about? People don't like me talking. <laughs> That's why the, the, a lot of the leaders, they, they, they're they afraid of something. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to take their money somewhere. I don't want your damn money on your spot. <laughs> if anything, if you really, if people is really on the same accord, you have way more. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, but that's all people see is the money. Or they think I want their spot. I don't want your damn spot. Listen, man. I'm happy being the way I am. Boy, <laughs> I ain't trying to be this. I'm trying to be that. But many people, they don't. A lot of this, I, man, it's, the people pass, it's like thousands pass around. I, I try to go talk to <laughs> But they don't want to let me talk. You see what I'm saying? They don't even give your boy an opportunity. <laughs> Boy. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I've never seen God stop yet. Whatever God got to do is going to happen. Yeah, if it's meant for me to do this, it'll happen. If not, that's one thing I ain't never been worried about. It, whether it's going to come or it ain't going to come. You see what I'm saying? But hmm, it, I, as y'all see, I still talk. You know what I mean? Hmm, I ain't got to have a big platform. If it ain't nothing, but I can leave my half of some, someone small. I, I, I got a little blowhorn or whatever. I, I go do my thing every now and then. Where? Go grab a group of people hmm, and try to talk to people. Hmm. But yeah. They won't be messing up their church. <laughs> or even though I would help their church. You see what I'm saying? But they are messing up their program. You see what I'm saying? They tell it. It's running smooth. They got the money coming in. One thing about it, these people see y'all with problems and they don't help y'all. <laughs> Truly. These people will be right outside, standing on the corner, this and that going on, man. <laughs> get these people strung out on drugs and some more. And y'all don't get up out of church and go help somebody. You see what I'm saying? You can't even play. Yeah, that, that throw me out. <laughs> what the hell are you there for? <laughs> it's right outside who need help. <laughs> Where? What you gonna wait for them to come to you? You see that? I'm just saying, man. People see y'all got problems and stuff, but they're not really helping y'all. That's <laughs> like a little kid. And, and if any one of y'all parents and y'all see y'all children got a problem, your, your kid ain't growing right, <laughs> what you gonna do? You gonna let them just grow up to be how they gonna be? Oh, well, he, he not walking right. He not talking right. Just let him be how he is. Or you gonna try to get him some help. You gonna take him to the doctor? Mm. You ain't gonna try to do nothing to help him to grow right or do anything, get no type of treatment. Mm. That's how many of the people is. The leaders, they not our parents, but God put them over the people to be like a shepherd. A shepherd watch over the flock, okay? Mm. And many of the shepherds, they see y'all in y'all condition. Mm. They see y'all struggling. Mm. Y'all strung out. Y'all been if y'all been going through this five years, ten years, fifteen years, and, and they ain't got no help yet, something wrong. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because it don't take long. You know, the very first moment you come in contact with God, your father, you're gonna spread some type of change. The very first moment you come in contact with Lord Jesus, you're going to experience some type of change. The very first moment you come in contact with the Holy Spirit of God, you're going to experience some type of change. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Well, how come y'all experience no change? They see y'all like this. Mm-hmm. You, I, you ain't going to be up under me. A lot of people, listen, one thing you can't say about me is that Vontae going to call you out on what you got going on. Yeah, I got family. They know. They know. I don't. I don't get nobody no no pass about this and that. You got some bull crap going on, which I'm gonna call you out on. Hmm? Boy, don't come around me with that crap. You see, listen to me. If I see, that's that's one thing. Hmm? But if I see you not taking God serious and this and that going on, I'm not gonna. I don't want your money. A lot of y'all go to church. Y'all just keep on giving your money and go sit down and play the music. God is good. Woo, awesome. Everything going on. Y'all enjoy. They see y'all. They see y'all having a good time. But then you go home. You be right, you be right back miserable as hell. Hmm? He ain't be running me like that. <laughs> nah, uh, uh-uh. nah. I don't, I don't, I don't encourage that. <laughs> Many people y'all been doing this for years. <laughs> if y'all go to the church and they, y'all just keep on giving your money. <laughs> it's all about the benches. <laughs> y'all be crazy as hell. You ain't getting no real help. <laughs> they see y'all not growing. <laughs> y'all heard me at the beginning. I say I got so much I want to give y'all, but I can't. <laughs> 
you know what I mean? I, I got stuff, a lot of stuff on them. Print out and do. It's, it's so much stuff I want to do, but I, I know the world that we live in. <laughs> people, it's like it's like a bad company can probably care. <laughs> so much people in the world, this thing going on, like, <laughs> it's, it's like a little kid. If you teach a little kid something, they go to their parent, and their parent teach them the wrong damn thing, <laughs> it, it, throw, it throw everything off. You see what I'm saying? You got people that be doing that type of stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like, where? <laughs> but that's another story for another day, but let me keep reading. Uh, oh, that, but the people be hot. The people that they don't like people who do the right thing, stand up or say the right thing. Where they were indignant when the, when it says the when uh, the chief priests and the chiefs when the, and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things Jesus did and the children shouting in the temple. Of course, Hosanna to the son of David. They were indignant, which means they were hot. They was mad. They was ticked off. They was furious. <laughs> Why y'all mad? Why y'all mad with stuff going right? I mean, damn. When stuff going wrong, they like it. No, yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. When stuff going wrong, they don't They don't mad. All hell breaking loose. They can live in it. When stuff going right, they start looking. Well, what are you doing over there? What do you got going on? Right, there you go again. Man, y'all go to hell with that bull crap. Yeah, that's me telling you. For all them hating people. Wait, yeah, shut up. Do you hear what these children are saying? They ask me. Yes, they replied. Have you never read? Hmm. From the lips of children and infants, you, Lord, have called forth your praise. Hmm. And he left them and went out to the city of Bethany, where he spent the night. Jesus cursed the fig tree. Early in the morning, as Jesus was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it and found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, may you never bear fruit again. Immediately, the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly, they asked. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but you can also say to this mountain, Go throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Amen. I love that. The authority of Jesus' question. <clears throat> Jesus entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things? <laughs> they, 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 they always come with these dumb, these, I forget. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. You know what I was about to say, though, even though I ain't finished the word. It was, you, you know, yeah, because the people throw me off, man. They always got some dumb eight questions. <laughs> but by what, who do you think I'm doing this by? By God. A lot of y'all go in seminary school, cemetery. I ain't been to no cemetery school, seminary school. You see what I'm saying? I ain't like the rest of these people. Y'all been going, y'all been learning about God from some man who don't got who don't got a license, they damn sir. Y'all, some of y'all people, they feel like they need a license to teach about the Lord. Y'all got a license for some dude who don't even got a license and damn sir. That don't even make sense to me. You see what I'm saying? Word. If you truly anointed by the Lord and you truly come from God, God give you the power to speak and give you the authority. People look at me, the, 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 you can feel it's an authority when I talk. I'm not like the rest of the people. You see what I'm saying? I walk around with authority. I ain't talking about no police or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Nah. You, the same way that the police got authority and you can feel their presence or whatever. You, man, if you for the Lord, you got a presence. You see what I'm telling you now, man. It's, you different from the rest of these people. The people can feel it. A lot of, they don't got no authority when they talk when they preach. They just they read from they just read from a book and they, and they got they got little notes and stuff. They, 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 you see what I'm saying? Listen, they reading off a of notes or some. It ain't and there's nothing there. There's no power from God there. You see what I'm saying? They can't keep fish in the water. You see what I'm saying? Word. By what authority are you doing these things? Jesus said. I will ask you one question. Jesus, Jesus said, I, will, I, I love the way Jesus talked. He said, I will also ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. Okay? John's baptism. Where did it come from? Was it from heaven or human origin? When people get baptized, anyone of y'all ever see someone getting baptized in the water? <laughs> Jesus said, where did it come from? He asked him a question. Did it come from, was it from heaven? Did God tell John to do it? Or did he make it up on his own? <laughs> they discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, then Jesus would say, why didn't, why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, if we say he doing, he, John, he just came up with the bird idea to do this, 
we are afraid of the people. For they all hold that John was a prophet. <laughs> so they answered Jesus, we don't know. <laughs> well, G- then Jesus said, neither, will I, neither will, will I tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. <laughs> Stumped them. Uh, the parable of the two sons. <laughs> what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. Uh, I will not, he answered. But later, he changed his mind and went. (laughs) The father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he didn't do it. (laughs) But he did not go. Which of the two did what? Which of the two did what was what what his father wanted? The first answer, Jesus said to them, "Truly I tell you, the tax collectors, the tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you." You see, Jesus said, "Jesus said, truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God ahead of you." For John came to show you the way. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness. And you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. Amen. The parable of the tenants, with the title say, <clears throat> listen to another parable. There was, a, there was a landowner who planted a vineyard, who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to, to some farmers and moved to another place. When the harvest time approached, he sent the servants to the to the tenants to collect to collect his fruit. His fruit. The tenants seized the servants. They beat one, killed the other, and stoned the third. Then he sent other servants to them more than the first time, and the, the tenants treated them the same way. Last of all, last of all, he sent he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, "This is the heir." Come, let's kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? He will bring those wretches to a wretched. To, he will bring those wretches to a wretched end. They replied, and they and he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who who will give him his share of the crop at harvest time. Jesus said to them, "Have you never read in the scriptures?" The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. Anyone who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces. Anyone on whom it falls will be crushed. <clears throat> when the chief priests and, and the Pharisees heard Jesus' parables, they knew he was talking about them. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of people, they be listening they know, they know, <laughs> they know Jesus was talking about them. <laughs> you know, Jesus, he's super, he's super slick. He say something. <laughs> you know, I love that right there. Cause he, he, he can get off on you without getting off on you. <laughs> word, word. They knew. Uh, when, when the chief priests and the, and the Pharisees heard this, heard Jesus' parables, <laughs> they knew he was talking about them. <laughs> they looked for a way to arrest him, but they were afraid, but they were afraid of the crowd because the people held that he was a prophet. <laughs> I love that, man. <laughs> what that? They couldn't lay a hand on him. Jesus gave himself a, <laughs> the Bible say, touch my, touch not my, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. <laughs> you hear me? And if you do, if you any one of y'all is foolish enough to touch one of God's people, y'all are crazy as hell. You don't know what you got coming up again. You, you, you do not know what you got going on. <laughs> you wish you never done it. You hear me? Right up. Y'all talking about fire things stuff get hot. You ain't afraid, huh? Okay. There's a spot in hell reserved for people, especially for them, especially for them. Now people think about hell just one is one spot. It's different layers, man. Where the difference? Where you know what I'm saying? Where the worst of the worst people go, they go to the toughest spot, somewhere where you don't want to go to. I'm glad I ain't gotta think about that. I'm just letting you know, okay? Yeah, but anyway, I'm getting off of him. All right, <laughs> y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He's gonna give it to you, okay? 
It's the Holy Spirit leading you to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on with our Father in heaven and get up out of here one day. Do you dig? <laughs> Until then, man, I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me too. And I will see y'all again. I'm about to go work out and get it in. Amen. God bless y'all, my friends. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to rhyme at the end, but it's all good. All right, I love y'all. I'm gone.